guys welcome back to my channel today I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be talking about a book that I just finished and that is Assassin's Blade by Sarah J Mack and I don't even know why it took me so long just to get into the start in the whole Throne of Glass series world but I it was one of those things that I always been putting off for so long and I really loved A Court of Thorns and Roses and I know I should have like picked up sooner so I was like you know what there's so many books and a lot of people really like it and I hear so much about it so let's get into this whole world so I read it finally and so now I'm gonna be talking about it and so it's about this girl named Selena and she's pretty much this like badass assassin of Adelon in this fantasy world where there's assassins and all that stuff there's crime lords there's a lot of crazy stuff going on and this is pretty much like a collection of novellas leading up to the main Thorn of Glass series and I pretty much thought it was like a good place to start out so that way I get like some background and get to know more about the character before I get into the whole series and if I don't like this novella then I know I'm not going to like the series and so there's a lot of adventures in there like different stories like her battling pirates her in the crazy desert where she has to be trained by a group of assassins and there's like also like this her main boss uh guy um I think Arkland or something like that and he's like the boss of the assassins and so it's like her uh her dealing some how she's trying to get out of the whole assassin's guild so that way she can live her life with her uh her man of honor uh sam so pretty much like that's kind of like how it is and there's like a lot of fighting going on her going on missions and her doing stuff and that's pretty much like what is pretty much about i guess pretty much i like kind of like enjoyed it i pretty much like that was really fun i actually like the whole idea about assassins i don't read a lot of books with assassins in them and so what got me into a series that i thought was really cool about that and plus i like uh well at least before arrow started going down downhill um, with the whole League of Assassins part. I really always liked that one and always wanted a series with that one so I figured reading this would be like kind of like similar to it I guess and I liked it there's a lot of action involved which I really like. I mean there were some slow parts in there like every once in a while there would be like some slow parts but interesting characters that like stepped in every now and then that I pretty much was like eh. Uh really like though I did enjoy some of the novellas uh, in the book. As for the main character Selena I'm pretty much like uh, up and down for that person I do feel like she was very cold most of the time and she's kind of like a bitch in some way um and also like either she's like a badass cold person that doesn't really hug people I guess that's the whole assassin way I think I assume that like this is what assassins are they are not warm and fuzzies but at the same time she's also kind of like a I like gold I like make, buying, buying a lot of nice things and she's very glamorous and so on so that's pretty much interesting about her but sometimes I do feel like uh there could have been more layers or or I would have liked to see more development but then since this is like a novella so I don't know if you will get a lot of development in the whole series. Also like there's like some other characters that I feel like uh was uh was kind of okay and not sure why they were there or something like that or they meant something to the actual series of Thorn of Glass or they added up to anything. Will they show up again? I don't know. Um yeah I mean it was okay. Um I mean there was like something a lot of things I mean I was really interested and entertained and willing to continue on the series because I feel like it could get better but there are also some I would feel like some of the story like telling could have been more better I guess um yeah so I mean it's not the best book in the world not as great as the Court of Thorns and Roses series but I mean I was thrilled enough to continue reading it so yeah so let me in the comments below if you read the series and what have you thought about the novella and if do you like it do you don't like it should I read more let me know in the comments below and what do you thought about Selena and all the other characters love to hear about it and if you enjoyed this video click on the thumbs up and if you want to see more book reviews and see what I thought of the main Thorn of Glass series just subscribe because I love to hear you see you around so until next time keep on reading